Well, morning everybody. It may not be morning where you are, but the sun is just getting ready to come up where I am. I'm in East Texas. We're going to come over here and fish some marshes today in the kayak. I'm going to really target a lot of reds, fishing with some top water. You know, brush up on my top water game a little bit. But I am out here today accompanied by Charles, Captain Charles. We're in his neck of the woods and his stomping grounds. And hopefully I'm going to hook up today. But thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Hopefully you catch me hooking up. We have an opening right here. You got grass line on both sides. Bunch of crab trap. So this is trying to target against the grass line a little bit. It's about two and a half feet, 78 degrees. Water's kind of warm. Haven't seen any blow ups yet. No signs of fish. Bait fish jumping here and there, a few mullets. Right there, as I said that, right on cue. Like I said, I'm gonna start today with top water. I've never fished out here before. Don't know where the um, where the reefs are. Don't know where oyster reefs are. Don't know where drop offs are. So I'm gonna use Google Maps a lot to kind of see going in and out of the marsh system. Target a few spots. Use Google Maps before I came out. To target a few key points that I wanted to hit. A couple bins that look good. A couple intersections that look good. And rely on my fish finder for depth. Not necessarily for looking for the fish, finding the fish. Because when you're two feet, two and a half feet, you're not. It's not going to really indicate. At least not the fish finder I have where the fish are. So let me know if there's a certain drop or if there's a little cut or if it gets deep in a bend or something like that where I'm going to hold some fish. We'll see. So I see this water being pushed in here, like an opening or drain in this back lake. So, you know, sometimes that little bit of water current is all it takes. We hadn't really seen too much Charles hooked into. Seen a lot of bait, but really haven't seen any blow ups or anything like that. Charles has saw a little small school and he caught like maybe just under slot bread on top water we uh try to chase the school and but we were never to find it again you might have broke them up sometimes you break them up when you when you get a fish on i get a little time to regroup but not really too much action going on just a quick update you know i've thrown top water i've thrown the cork Throw on a couple different lures. This one right here is a Mambo Mullet. Water's pretty dark, like you would think, being in the marsh system. So that black Mambo Mullet with shark shoes tail is uh, always good with this water clarity. It puts out a lot of vibration too. So we're gonna cast a few more times, and I put some Pro Cure on it. A little bit of scent. Also have chatter weight on. Give it a little bit of sound too. Like that. And it'll pop in. 
typically for reds, straight retrieve is all you need. They'll feel that vibration and get after it. See that lure swimming by. That little red. Uh, 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 a nice, pretty little guy. Put this steak down. Uh, pretty little guy. Not a. Uh, not real big, kind of fishing on bottom for a flounder because we're not seeing a whole lot of action back here. So, we're actually at all today. So, fishing on the bottom looking for a flounder. And uh, this guy wanted to bite. He's pretty though. It's little, but he's pretty. On that tandem, he's gonna be undersized. Probably be about like, maybe maybe 17, 18 inches. I'll get my hand on him real fast. We'll take a look at him, but he is. Oh, sorry, bud. He is pretty. That pretty pumpkin, that nice gold that you like. Got four spots on that side, and he has two on the bottom on the other side. But just a pretty guy, pretty little guy. Let's get him measured. Get him on this board. Look at that. He is barely going to. his nose on the board pinch his tail and is barely touching 20 so he's a slot <laughs> he wouldn't be a slot on ice though that little bit of tail will come up and he'll lose maybe a little under a quarter of an inch but I may not even lose that much but he's a pretty little guy and uh, yeah he's gonna go on and live I'm gonna let him go yeah but he's a little cute little guy we'll let him go let him swim on there he goes man but it has been tough sledding that's really my official first bite I've got a lot a couple of thumbs but not really too much going on today but that you know that's that's how it goes sometimes sorry got my got my hat off flipped around but yeah that's how it goes sometimes I'm gonna keep casting Dang it. There we go. He came back for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he got off. Oh, he got off. Oh, I felt them dumping it. It felt like a flounder. And then I want to go set my hook and nothing was there. And then when it was falling down, something else hit it. it looked like a speck. Dang. How long these crab traps? <laughs> I knew it wasn't a red. Yeah, I knew it wasn't a red. That's why I didn't call it. Dang it. I didn't think it was a red. 
He every time I pulled him, he gave up too easy. Big old nasty gaff toppy. We got this guy. That's all right. Uh, today I don't mind. I'll limit out on a gap top today. I don't mind. It's been slow going. Such a slow day. Today, gaff top is king. Well, guys, that's it. You know, you have your days out there where they are just absolute grinds. The baits there, the fish aren't cooperating, or they're they're not there. Perhaps they pushed on and moved to other area. But we we covered quite a lot of water, so. I know we there was some fish there. We just couldn't hook up. They just weren't biting. It didn't make much sense to me because we had a new moon. We had good tide movement, good water movement. And um, yeah, it's just one of those days. I just wanted to show you guys that when you are fishing out there, if you're new to kayak fishing or new to fishing the marsh, you know, you really have to use Google Maps and, and go explore a little bit, go scout new areas are areas that are new to you and you have to constantly change it up you have to maybe put different size lures on different colors different styles different techniques where you're working top water or under a cork or finally i hooked into the red on fishing with the tandem because i started targeting flounder and i couldn't find the flounder either uh the best thing i did was i caught that little red i did get hit by a undersized gar real small gar and you know you saw the gaff top i mean charles caught one red as well and charles is very experienced in fishing out there he's caught a lot of nice fish in that area they just just wasn't happening for us so it's kind of why i wanted to show you the video and those that aren't used to fishing the marshes some kind of areas that i do target a lot more commentating than than actually catching and for those that wanted to watch me just like really really just hooking up i apologize you know if it was up to me i would have caught a fish every single cast but you know it just wasn't in my favor one of the other things i do want to mention is i recently got this really nice cooler blue dot sent me this cooler to try out and i'll be doing a review later on if you're interested so keep a lookout for that i really like the cooler it kept all the drinks cold kept my ice icy so but hey if you like this video i know it's tough sometimes but if you like this video push a thumbs up leave a comment below i hope that if you are looking into getting a kayak or getting out in the water or getting um, into some unexplored marsh, you use some of the technique I use. Today, they they really didn't produce a whole lot of fish or any fish, but those are simply the simple, the same techniques, the same areas I cover, the same stuff that I throw that has produced and caught a lot of fish. But hey, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Hopefully next time. You catch me hooking up a little more. Thanks.